Behind me is a picture of a little girl walking to school in one of the many rundown neighborhoods in America. The windows are boarded up, the walls filled with graffiti, and there's trash on the street. It makes you wonder, how does living in this neighborhood affect her life, her health, and even how well she does in school? It makes you wonder if the, if the windows were cleared, the trash clean, would her life be any better, even if she had the same family, the same school? Social scientists have grappled with the following question for more than a century. How does the appearance of a neighborhood affect the people who live there? Inspired by the famous broken windows theory, studies have linked neighborhood appearance to criminal behavior. Similar studies have shown that neighborhood appearance affects even health, mobility, and school dropout rates. But these studies are limited in their scope due to a lack of data on how studies look. At the moment, researchers spend many months doing field surveys to measure how neighborhoods look. But the field surveys can only cover so much area. They're limited to a few neighborhoods or a handful of cities at most. So how do we increase the speed and the scale of these field surveys? The solution is to replace people with computers looking at images from Google Street View. In the past decade, more than 3,000 cities from 91 countries have been photographed by Google Street View alone. So it's now possible to virtually survey many, many cities without leaving your home. Specifically, we want the computer to be able to look at a picture of a street block and tell us how safe it would look to a human observer. We can do this using machine learning. In machine learning, the computer learns to do a task from examples. So our first goal is to create these examples of how safe street blocks look to humans. To get these examples, we created an online game called Place Pulse. In this game, we showed people images from street view side by side and asked them to choose one which looked safer. This game was online for about four months, and it went viral. We had 3,000 images from New York and Boston. 8,000 participants from more than 90 countries played this game, and we got more than 200,000 clicks from them. Now we can take these clicks and assign scores between 0 to 10 to images based on how safe they look. So the higher the score, the safer the image looks to a majority of the users. We call this score street score. Now that we have these examples, we can train the computer to do this task. The computer learns from the shapes, textures, and colors present in the image and learns to assign a score to a new image it has never seen before. And the computer is quite good at it. It assigns low scores to street blocks that have empty streets, rundown buildings, and industrial warehouses. On the other hand, it assigns a high score to suburban houses with manicured lawns and clean streets lined with trees. So it's doing good. Not just that, we can look at the same location and take pictures from two different times and study how the place has changed. We can do this by simply taking the difference of the street score of the place at two different times. So this can be used to identify if a place is undergoing gentrification or decline, which is very important at the moment in cities. So we use street score to calculate the perception of safety of more than 2 million street blocks from 21 American cities to create the largest database of how cities look. We can use this data to create incredibly detailed maps of how neighborhoods look, like this map of New York City. Now, researchers across the country are using our data to measure how neighborhood appearance impacts your health, crime, mobility, and education. But this tool is useful to city governments as well. City governments spend millions of dollars trying to clear graffiti, fix sidewalks, and plant trees to improve their neighborhoods. Street Square can help them make data-driven decisions on how neighborhoods look and 
assign their resources accordingly. Street score can also help them to measure the impact of neighborhood improvement initiatives by using images before and after a neighborhood fix-up. But tools that can use computers to measure city appearance are even more useful in developing countries where governments lack the resources to measure the condition of their cities. As they say, what you cannot measure, you cannot understand. And what you cannot understand, you cannot improve. So now our goal is to teach the computer to be able to look at the pictures from a city in developing country and uh, make inference about it. So we created a new game that has images from 56 countries across six continents. More than 200,000 people have played this game so far and contributed 1.3 million clicks. But we need more data. So we, we invite you to visit this website and help us play the game. My work with Street Score is helping improve our understanding of how neighborhood appearance impacts people. It's also, help, it's also helping us study gentrification and decline and understand these processes. In the long run, big visual data and machine learning can help us improve the life of more than 3.5 billion people who live in cities across the world. Thank you. <laughs>